Hey, uh, good afternoon. It's Paul here. I am at Tokyo University of Foreign Studies. <coughs> As the title suggests, um, today we're going to talk about food. Japan is finally opening up um, to foreign visitors um, October 11th, I believe. No more visas. Um, I think you still need like three vaccine shots. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, Japan is opening up. And um, that's great because um, I think for those vi people who come, you're gonna have a great time. <clears throat> and I'm here with Mr. Tufts. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see from his t-shirt. Um, Yuki, he's been in my class, uh, classes for many uh, years. And this is his final year. And yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm Yuki Nishiori. Uh, I'm Malaysia major in Tokyo University of Foreign Studies. Please introduce yourself in Malaysian. Malaysian? Yeah. Namasayu Yuki, uh, Namrayu Sayu Hafiz. Uh, Tahun 2019, saya pergi Malaysia selama setahun dan belajar di Universiti Kebangsaan Malaysia. Awesome, cool. <laughs> if you do come to Japan and you go to eat, personally, I highly recommend that you eat, you try out yakitori. Yakitori. And Yuki, what's yakitori? Yakitori is uh, chicken, uh, which is stuck in the uh, one stick. Yep. And uh, it's grilled. It's grilled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got like small pieces of chicken, it's on a, like a skewer, and they grill it, etc. Um, and they have different types of yakitori, different, for example, like just all like, a, for example, breast of the meat. They have, um, what is that, uh, tsukune. Mm -hmm. Tsukune is, I think, um, like grounded chicken, be chicken mm -hmm. meat, and it made it like the little balls. Um, what are some other yakitori? Snagimo. Uh, Snagimo, what is that? Uh, liver. Liver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Negima. Negima, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try this. Uh, let's say three, three, three. Okay. okay. So, um, Momo. Uh, kawa. Kawa. <laughs> uh. um, ne wait, Negima, I said that already. <laughs> Negima. Hatsu. Hatsu. What's Hatsu? Uh, hurt. Hurt. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Heart and finally, um, what's the hold up the the bone or the tendon? It's like the chicken. Te the, it looks like the it's cr crunchy. I forgot the name. Teba? teba? Not teba. It's kind of hard. Like I think it's a tendon. Uh huh. Like the el elbow parts and. Uh huh. Okay, anyway, so there you go. There's a selection of different types of yakitori, okay? Now, if you go to a yakitori shop or a restaurant or an izakaya, izakaya is uh, like a Japanese pub, they will most likely have yakitori there. And when you do order um, yakitori, um, most likely, most likely the waiter or the waitress, they're going to ask you a very important question. I think it's important. Well, a kind of like a basic question. And the, they're going to say, shio or tare, okay? Actually, how, how would the waiter say it? <laughs> If, if I'm the customer yeah, 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 and you're the waiter and yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, ni ni Okay. So, shio or tare. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what's shio? Shio is t uh, salt. And tare is um, like a kind of like a sauce, like a sweet sauce. I don't think it's teriyaki sauce. Mm -hmm. Is that te That's not teriyaki, right? Mm, no. That's not teriyaki Different. sauce. Um, now, that's a big debate. 
big debate is it shio or tare salt or this kind of like sweet brown uh, sauce it's really delicious <laughs> many Japanese people that's this is an important issue now this by the way today's episode it's totally unscripted um, I just called Yuki I said hey come on over I want to I want to shoot this episode and so um, when I count to three one two three you're gonna say like which one do you like okay so okay. Shio tare, okay and then I'll say mine thing okay mm-hmm. so ready um, oh we're gonna say Se no. Okay. okay. Ready? Here we go. Se no. Tare. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, shio. Uh. So he likes the salt type um, yakitori. I like tare. Um, now we're gonna debate this. I I believe tare is better. Um, why do you like tare? Uh, sorry. Why do you like shio? Uh, because uh, we can taste the. Uh, Materials <laughs> taste. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. For me, I I never order shio. Wow. Never. Really? Never. It's always tare. Oh. Um, and this is important, mm-hmm. even for students. Like, it depends on their grade. Depends on that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why tare? <laughs> because I love that sauce that's on there, and they dip it. They they dip the yakitori into that like a Mm-mm. container and then mm. they dip it out and they put it on the plate. Oh my goodness, it is like heavenly. So, um, but you eat tare, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I almost never eat shio. Mm. Um, I'll eat it, but yeah, for me it's tare. There you have it. The next time, if you do visit a Japanese restaurant or izakaya or whatever, and you order yakitori. And they're going to ask you that question, like, shio or tare. And how do you say it again? In shio ni saremasu ka? Tare ni saremasu ka? <laughs> so you have to decide uh, b- between uh, salt or this, uh, like, sauce. Quick advice for you if and when you visit Japan. So thanks for watching. See you. Bye. <laughs>